it has been said the truth will make men free. The truth alone has never made anyone free. It is only doubt which will bring mental emancipation. You cannot love everyone. It is ridiculous to think you can. Those who spell magic with a K aren't. The ideal woman to me would be the gun-toting mall, someone who is true, blue, and ready to face the world, open to ideas and suggestion, not stubborn and close-minded. The only thing Christianity ever contributed to Satanism was the name. Satanism represents kindness to those who deserve it, instead of love wasted on ingrates. Satanism represents a form of controlled selfishness and demands study, not worship. The true test of anyone's worth as a living creature is how much can he utilize what he has. When ghettos become the mainstream of society, islands of individuality cannot help but harbor an elite. When one sleeps on the floor, one need not worry about falling out of bed. Hair on a man's chest is thought to denote strength. The gorilla is the most powerful of bipeds and has hair on every place on his body except for his chest. Every religion in the world that has destroyed people is based on love. Man prides himself on being the only animal who can modify his nature. Yet, when he chooses to do so, he is called a phony. The most interesting people I've ever met have been deviant in one form or another. It's too bad that stupidity isn't painful. If a person wants to be hurt and enjoys suffering, then there is no reason not to indulge him in his want. Satanists are encouraged to indulge in the seven deadly sins, as they need hurt no one. They were only invented by the Christian Church to ensure guilt on the part of its followers. Those that would say Satanists would like to kill animals, sacrifice animals, I would say they would make ideal animal sacrifices. I love animals, and animals have always been a part of me. Religions are easy to invent. Most traditional religions have little or nothing to do with reality, are dependent on obfuscation, interpretation, guilt, and unreasoning faith. There is nothing inherently sacred about moral codes, like the wooden idols of long ago, 
they are the work of human hands. And what man has made, man can destroy. In order to perform the supernatural, you must first be able to accomplish the supernormal. Blessed are the destroyers of false hope, for they are the true messiahs. Cursed are the God adorers, for they shall be shorn sheep. Satan has been the best friend the church has ever had, as he has kept it in business all these years. Don't let that little pyramid with the bright eye fool you. That's to draw your attention away from the real thing, the big trapezoid beneath it. I break away from all conventions that do not lead to my earthly success and happiness. Many of you already read my writings, indicating that TV is the new God. There is a little thing I neglected to mention up until now. Television is the major mainstream infiltration for the new satanic religion. Say unto your own heart, I am my own redeemer. Do what you want, as long as it's paying off for you. But once it's become a liability, then something is wrong, and you better find out what it is. The real Satanist is not quite so easily recognized as such. Behold the crucifix. What does it symbolize? Pallid incompetence hanging on a tree. To be loved, feelings must be rationed. To love, the doors of hysteria, fantasy, and madness may be flung open. Since man's natural instincts lead him to sin, all men are sinners, and all sinners go to hell. If everyone goes to hell, then you will meet all your friends there. When walking in open territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask him to stop. If he does not stop, destroy him. There is no heaven, there is no hell, except here on earth. Hate your enemy with a whole heart, and if a man smites you on one cheek, smash him on the other. There are many who would like my time. I shun them. There are some who share my time. I am entertained by them. There are precious few who contribute to my time. I cherish them. Life is the great indulgence, death the great abstinence. Therefore, make the most of life here and now.
there is a beast in man that should be exercised, not exorcised. I am glad that Christian parents let their children worship the devil at least one night out of the year. Be as a lion in the path. Be dangerous even in defeat. If you're going to be a sinner, be the best sinner on the block. The atheist complains about the wind. The Christian prays for it to change. The Satanist adjusts his sails. Love is one of the most intense feelings felt by man. Another is hate. Forcing yourself to feel indiscriminate love is very unnatural. If you try to love everyone, you only lessen your feelings for those who deserve your love. Repressed hatred can lead to many physical and emotional ailments. By learning to release your hatred towards those who deserve it, you cleanse yourself of these malignant emotions and need not take your pent-up hatred out on your loved ones. Don't waste your time with people who will ultimately destroy you, but concentrate instead on those who will appreciate your responsibility to them and likewise feel responsible to you. Up is down, pleasure is pain, darkness is light, slavery is freedom, madness is sanity. There is no heaven of glory bright, no hell where sinners roast. Here and now is our day of torment. Here and now is our day of joy. Here and now is our opportunity. Choose you this day, this hour, for no Redeemer lives. Stupidity, the top of the list for satanic sins, the cardinal sin of Satanism. It's too bad that stupidity isn't painful. Ignorance is one thing, but our society thrives increasingly on stupidity. It depends on people going along with whatever they are told. The media promotes a cultivated stupidity as a posture that is not only acceptable, but laudable. Satanists must learn to see through the tricks and cannot afford to be stupid. I don't crave companionship. It stands in my way. I live for pleasure. There are few persons who can give me as much pleasure as those acts I perform myself. I would rather create pleasure according to my own whim than be subjected to the whims of others. If you love everyone and everything, you lose your natural powers of selection and wind up being a pretty poor judge of character and quality. If anything is used too freely, it loses its true meaning. Therefore, the Satanist believes you should love strongly and completely those who deserve your love, but never turn the other cheek to your enemy.
After an inferior man has been taught a doctrine of superiority, he will remain as inferior as he was before his lesson. He will merely assume himself to be superior and attempt to employ his recently learned tactics against his own kind, whom he will then consider his inferiors. With each inferior man enjoying what he considers his unique role, the entire bunch will be reduced to a pack of strutting, foppish, self-centered monkeys gambling about on an island of ignorance. On Saturday night, I would see men lusting after half-naked girls dancing at the carnival. And on Sunday morning, when I was playing organ for the tent show evangelists at the other end of the carnival lot, I would see these same men sitting in the pews with their wives and children, asking God to forgive them and purge them of their carnal desires. And the next Saturday, they'd be back at the carnival or some other place of indulgence. I knew then that the Christian church thrives on hypocrisy. And that a man's carnal nature will out no matter how much it is purged or scourged by any white light religion. In this arid wilderness of steel and stone, I raise up my voice that you may hear. To the east and to the west I beckon. To the north and the south I show a sign proclaiming, Be free. Be free. How could you set yourself up as the most powerful institution on earth? You first find out what every man feels at least once a day. Establish that as a sin and set yourself up as the only institution capable of pardoning that sin. My parents were lenient. My mother believed God was another word for nature. I took up Satanism not out of desperation, but out of logic. I rebelled not because of a religious or repressive childhood. I simply wanted to be free. All religions of a spiritual nature are the inventions of man. He has created an entire system of gods with nothing more than his carnal brain. Just because he has an ego and cannot accept it, he has to externalize it in some great spiritual device, which he calls God. All we want, those few of us who have the strength to realize what's going on, is the freedom to create and entertain and share with each other, to preserve and cherish what we can while we can, and to build our own little citadels away from the insensitivity of the rest of the world. Satan represents indulgence instead of abstinence. Satan represents vital existence instead of spiritual pipe dreams. Satan represents undefiled wisdom instead of hypocritical self-deceit. Satan represents all of the so-called sins as they all lead to physical, mental, or emotional gratification. But the average person doesn't have that much imagination. They just want to be entertained. They want to have the tableau presented for them. They don't want to participate beyond a certain point. They want the safety of the herd to be catered to, to sit back and enjoy. Whatever alleged truth is proven by results to be an empty fiction, let it be unceremoniously flung into the outer darkness. 
among the dead gods, dead empires, dead philosophies, and other useless lumber and wreckage. <laughs>